Hi, everyone. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I am in Brooks of the Intuitive Rising, and this is your morning minute with spirit. And today we've got the nine of swords. So what I'm feeling about today is that potentially there's a lot of us that are feeling a bit um, exhausted. I hear unrest. I also feel as if we're spending some time today, um, potentially last night, we didn't get a lot of sleep. I hear insomnia. Um, you know, we're just kind of in this um, fear-based thinking pattern today. So it feels a little bit like insecurity and some worries, and maybe we're doing some ruminating and thinking about things. Um, and, you know, the energy does not do this to us to, you know, harm us or to hurt us. It's really an invitation to get quiet. It's an invitation to work on ourselves. Um, it's also an invitation for growth. Okay. So I said in a earlier message this week that we need to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And this card certainly is bringing up those kind of feelings. So I would encourage you to ask yourself when you're kind of in this loop, you know, like, and I'm in it, what a perfect shirt I'm wearing today. I just want to point that out. Mental health matters. Yes. Mental health matters. I know when I get in this loop of kind of like worry and insecurity or fear-based thinking, what I've become in the habit of doing, what I got in the habit of doing is asking myself, but is this true? Is this true for me? Do I actually have something to worry about in this situation or with this person or about this? Is this actually true? Perhaps we're spending a lot of time today kind of beating ourselves up mentally. I can't do this. I'm not worthy. Um, you know, all of these kind of thoughts that are human nature, we all have them. But are they true? Are they true for you? What evidence do you have that you're not worthy? Okay, so I know the energy feels a little heavy today. Take some time for yourself, a day of self-care, absolutely. Don't, that voice, that voice in your head that's kind of ruminating and in that loop, that is not you, okay? You are the one obs observing that voice. I know that might be a little bit of a mind trip. If anybody has read the book, The Untethered Soul, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, please check it out if you want your mind blown. Um, but yeah, I just feel like we need to kind of have some separation from that voice in our head today. Try to ignore it. Try to just think of it as if you're observing somebody having a conversation and you're listening. And you can involve yourself in the conversation, or you can just observe. Today, observe. Have a great day.